everybody. Welcome back to Just Brent. Today, we're going to take a little detour. Alright, but seriously, this is an IPA. I'm not excited. <laughs> Alright, it's a cracker. I definitely smell pine and spruce. I also smell something else. All right, let's give her. You know, that's not that bad. It's not too bad at all. That's uh, more akin to the IPAs I'm used to growing up. Well, not really growing, you know what I mean. Mm. That's not nearly as harsh as the Mad Tom. It does, it does taste like a more intense Alexander Keys. A refreshingly adventurous beer for those who want to stray away from the everyday. Dry hop brewed as a sessionable IPA, it delivers a rewarding aroma and a taste less traveled. Well, that's true. It's, yeah, that's just not that bad. There's something citrusy in there. I taste orange. Slight amount of orange. I couldn't drink that one after another, but that's a fine beer. That would go excellent with fish and chips. Wow, that's good. That would go, go that would go good on your fish and chips. It's that good. That is a fine, fine beer. It's like a Where's Waldo of Canada or something. Wow, nice. As I said before, I can't drink that one after another. I'm, I'm not into the IPAs, honestly. But I would seriously rate that a solid 6 out of 10. Which is really high for my IPA taste buds. You know. Not into the IPA is what I'm trying to say. I'm more into, like, a dark beer. Like an Irish Red or... A stout, something like that. Mm. I really wish I had fish and chips right now. That'd be perfect. Alright guys, until next time, peace out.